To God be the glory, I'm O.W. Prince, and this is your real illuminating moment. The first day of January, 2022, on this, the Lord's Holy Sabbath Day. Paul's words recorded in Romans 8, 18 through 27, strip away the artificial and superficial views of the Christian life, leaving us with the core of what it means to live in the last days as saints of Yahweh. His words do not conform to any contemporary Christian thought or teaching. His words are not those that would readily be accepted as God's truth in this end time Christian culture of heaven on earth and hedonistic self-indulgence and religious opulence. Nevertheless, they are Yahweh's divine and eternal truth. If we are to live our lives as those who are and will be the sons of God, we must live in accordance with saintly reality as opposed to Christian propaganda. Therefore, let us rid ourselves of preconceived Christian ideologies, false Sabbath days and pagan traditions, and hold fast to the inspired and inerrant word of God as we ought. Please consider the following. And I quote, I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy comparing to the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of his own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from his bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God who searches the heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. I'm O.W. Prince. And this has been your real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, but God heals. Keep looking up, and I love you. Happy New Year.